It was a tweet for aspiring lyricists and somebody asked me to elaborate on the thought. Sometimes it's too much to to tweet, you know what I'm saying? Like I call it Twitter by the way. I don't I don't call it X. <laughs> Not yet. And what I was basically saying is if you're an aspiring lyricist and you want to be about the craft of rhyming, the art of putting words together, um, I would advise you to go into your subconscious and get familiar with the linguistic barriers that exist in your subconscious. So you can remove those and place them into your conscious mind. Because once you take them out of your your subconscious mind and you put them in your conscious mind, now you can control how you use them at will. So let me explain it in my case. The reason why it was a language barrier, a linguistic barrier for me is because I said, I'm gonna go to the store, right? And that was the most natural thing for me to say because that's what I was raised saying. And then I put the most natural thing into my art, which is not a, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. But when I realized that I'm continuously doing that, I'm continuously using my natural speech patterns, way of expressing myself into the art. I'm naturally putting that in the art. Now I'm limited. I'm limited with how I can express myself verbally. And when I'm doing this music or I'm creating, I need to have unlimited tools to create with. I need to have unlimited tools to create with. So one might think, oh, that just means go and speak proper English when you're rapping. No, that don't mean that. That means understand what's so-called proper, understand that, master that, so you can use that at your will, and then understand what resides in you naturally, control that so you can use that at will. Now you not only have the proper, so-called proper, I say so-called, so-called proper way to communicate in your toolbox, but you also understand the AAVE that they call it, that you're using to communicate. You also understand that. And then you could go into dialect and start understanding things on a deeper level. And once you do all of that, you now have more tools in your toolbox to paint your picture. You see what I'm saying? When before you only had one tool when it came to verbally communicate, and I want you to analyze how you speak in everyday life. I want you to start noticing things that you repeat over and over and over in your sentences without even being conscious of it. Like there's certain things that I'm going to say no matter what, I'm gonna say, you know what I mean? I'm gonna say, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna say, you feel me? Those things are just gonna naturally come out. But there's even smaller things that will naturally come out. And we don't pay attention to them. I want you to pay attention to those things. So that way, once you're aware of it, now you can control it. Especially when you create. I want you to have total control of all your faculties when you create. I don't want something to have control of you. I want you to have control of it. So if you speak a certain way, analyze that, figure out why do I speak like this? Is it because this was passed down in my family and my family comes from a certain region and we have a certain way of communicating? Why do I speak like this? You ask yourself that question and you start unraveling that. And once you start unraveling that, you start to understand and you understand yourself better. Then you say, okay, who am I communicating with? I'm communicating with people who understand English. This is my primary language of choice. Now I need to go and master that language because that is really two different languages. Sometimes when you think about it, I can hold an entire conversation with some of my homies and somebody who has a good grasp on the English language may not know it, nothing that we're talking about because we're using slang, we're using Ebonics, we're using AAVE and they might not understand anything that we just said. So it's almost like two different languages. Sometimes you need to blend these things together. Sometimes it sounds way flyer when you spit a proper bar just right there in that eighth bar. 
and then you come back on the ninth bar and you just speaking however you naturally speak rhythmically though it's so many ways that you could play with it once you have mastered both sides now what i'm speaking about has nothing to do with race i only said in my case they would call some of this stuff that i'm describing african-american vernacular english or ebonics or things of that nature it doesn't matter what race you are because everybody is a product of their environment and their environment contributes to how they communicate verbally so i want you to study and analyze that environment that is causing you to speak how you speak in our everyday conversations we have crutches that we might lean on and then we bring those crutches into the creation process i don't want those crutches in the creation process i want you to have as much control as you can over all your verbal tools.